What's up guys, Champ here bringing you the biggest earned supply drop in all of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, like I promised. I'm also going to go over my stats here a little bit. I got a 1.84 KD, 412 score per minute, and a 1.23 win loss. Getting a high win loss is pretty tough when you play solo like I do. Now I'm going to go over where I stand in the career. There you guys have it, number 61 in the world in Call of Duty, and my stats are legit. If you look at my stats, they're definitely legit. I mean, I got a 410 score per minute, which is reasonable. I play every game mode. Every game mode's in the Chaos Mosh Pit, so I do get stuck playing a lot of Safeguard, a lot of Team Death matches, and those are not high-scoring games. You're not going to hold a really high KD with those. And if you look at these guys, I mean, half these guys are hackers. Look at their score per minute. I mean... 2,000, 10,000, you could honestly, if you went through it, you could pick out how many of these guys are hackers. And I went through it really quickly and didn't actually really gaze at all of it, but there's at least 20 hackers. So that means I'm pretty much like more like 41 in the world at this game. I play a lot, and this is career, core career. I'm not 41 in the world and everything else, just in core career. So that's just my overall score in this game which means I put in a lot of time, a lot of game time. And here I'll show you, I got nothing. Nothing to show for it because I've never used any of my crypto keys. So that's why I have so many crypto keys. Not many people or anybody could say that they have this many crypto keys stacked up in their arsenal. Most people just go ahead and spend them as soon as they get them. And they, I guess that's a reasonable thing to do. I don't know why I really held on to them. Actually, I do. I knew one day that they were going to give me better things in this supply drop. You know, if I just went and spent them all right off the bat, I wouldn't have gotten them. I get, you know, this is me showing that I can get different weapon attachments that just look a little different. That stuff didn't really appeal to me. Here's how many crypto keys I have right now. 15,000 and 97 crypto keys that's a, so many crypto keys i'm telling you i would love to know if anyone else has seen a video where someone has that many crypto keys so we're going to get right into it and we're going to get these bribes going and right off the bat i got the hg40 and that's actually one of the guns that i did want so i'm pretty happy that i got that and then i got another bribe so I'm going to open that up. And these, you know, these are the first two things I was going to open because like, I wanted to see if I can get some weapons real quick. And I got the Banshee. Not bad, not really good. I'm not really going to use that Banshee. I don't think, at least. I haven't heard good things from that. I haven't really even heard that great of things from the HG40. So I really underestimated how much time this was going to take to open up all these crypto keys. So there's no way possible I'm going to be able to open all these crypto keys in one opening. Sorry, it's just not possible. This video right here is about 14 minutes and I only get through about a thousand of my crypto keys. So I'm going to ask you guys in this video, what do you think I should do? You think I should just open up the rest? You think I should wait a little bit and get other things? You think I should open them and just show you like the best things that I got in, you know, out of all the drops? Or you think maybe once a week I should just go on here and open up a thousand and make a video about it? Because that's what seems to be the average. Opening a thousand crypto keys is pretty much going to be one video. I'm sure more weapons will come out eventually, so maybe it would be good to have some of these, but pretty much I told you guys I was going to open them, and here I am starting to open them. That's my first good thing that I got out of the rare supply drops. I got the Iron Gym. I know there's a bunch of melee weapons, and I do actually pick up a couple melee weapons out of these rare supply drops. I'm not sure if there's a big difference in rare supply drops and regular supply drops, so I did a little bit mostly rare supply drops and then I did a little bit of regular ones but I figure if I was just gonna sit there and do regular supply drops this would literally never end I'd be opening these up till next month the video would have to be like five hours long and I don't think I could show a video over 15 minutes so that's just not something I could do so there I got me a legendary right there a nice little hat and I was never really sure of which ones are the better ones because I've never done this but I'm assuming that the legendary ones have to be the best ones because of the ones that the guns and the knives and all that stuff come in so I got a bunch of legendaries in this drop but there is a lot of stuff that I'm really not too worried about got some KN44 camo which might be nice 
If you guys see one in here that you want me to start rocking on my weapon from now on, let me know. Because I don't know what's good. I don't know what looks nice. So, you know, I'm pretty much up for whatever. You guys see my gameplays. I don't even put a camo on my gun. And I have diamond camo. I went through all that trouble to get diamond camo on my SMGs and my assault rifles and never put it on. I am completely open for suggestion with all this stuff with you guys because that stuff never really appealed to me but trying to get new guns really did what i want to get is the ffar that's definitely a gun that i want to get because i've been getting melted by that gun lately one video i said i didn't think it was that great and now recently after saying that i've been getting hip fired like from like 20 feet away like people just getting lucky shots on me that thing shoots so quick so i kind of want that gun and i want that rocket launcher the rocket launcher seems like a great thing to have just to be taking down streaks just to beat on the robot and safeguard it just seems like an overall good weapon to get out of these boxes. So that's something I'm hoping for too. I use the combat focus a lot, so I'd like to get some new outfits for her. As you guys see, I'm still rocking the same exact outfit that she started with. And maybe if I dress her up a little bit, people will uh, stop calling me a hacker so much, I guess. Because I probably do look like a hacker with having nothing on any of my guys and everything. So that's up to, you know, that's open too. If anyone suggests something, you know, I'll, I'll try it out. I'll put it on my guy and that will be what I wear from now on. The purifier, so if I get anything for the purifier, I'll also do that. Attachments and stuff, I don't know if I'm going to get into changing those. I guess if I have a legendary attachment and I notice it, I'll throw it on my gun. Why not? Maybe it'll make it better. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think it does. It'll just make it more appealing stick out a little more maybe a little cooler looking for the video so like i said definitely open to suggestion right here we're just going to go through a bunch of rare supply drops just keep on going through i'm going through quickly because there's no point of going slow this is going to take forever as it is so i'm just going to keep it moving and see what we get here i haven't got a legendary in a little bit here we got some rare Got some other stuff that I probably will never use or see. I like the taunts. If I can get a couple of good taunts, that would be fun too. Because that's one thing I actually missed out. I did want to taunt every once in a while at the end of the game. I got some good game taunts. I know I picked up some of those in this uh, supply drop. And um, I don't know what else I really got. I was kind of just going through them so quick. And I was only really looking at the legendaries to see if I got any guns or any weapons or any knives or anything. Which, like I said, I did get some stuff in here. You're going to be seeing it coming up. Got some outfits right there, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, anything purple is basically cool, I guess, in my book. So I got a couple more purple right there. So it did seem like, in my opinion, because I opened so many of these today, that the common supply drop really didn't give you as great of things. So going with the rare i guess did seem a lot better plus you get a lot of crypto keys back which is another reason why this is just going to take so long it's like you spend 20 you get 10 back you spend or spend 30 you get five back 10 back i even got 20 back one time which is like i'm never going to end if that keeps happening but i guess i don't really want it to end I, you know, like I said, we'll make as many of these videos if you guys want. I'll make one every week. I'll do the highlights of them. Whatever you guys really want me to do, I'm open for suggestion. But I really had no clue. That's how clueless I was about these crypto keys. I had no clue how long it was going to take me to open these. I thought I was just going to whip right through them. I was like, maybe I'll have to make two videos. No, at least 15 videos for opening all these if I want to show every single one. And some people like to see this. You know, it's like a slot machine. It's like, it's kind of exciting. It's like, what you going to get? What are they going to give you? I think right there, I just switched over to the common. Yes, yeah, so I went to the common. So I got some common stuff. And when you go to the common drop, you get some common stuff, apparently. It's kind of funny when you listen to what the guy's actually saying. He kind of comments on everything. Right there, I got a good common drop right there. Two legendaries for just one common drop was not too bad. Here we go. Back to the common. Common, common, common. So you get what you paid for, right? Right there, I paid for a common trash, and I got the common trash. Some stuff that I'll never use. I got a lot of duplicates, too, throughout this whole entire process. Stock pool for the Weevil. All right, not bad. 
I don't use the Weevil that much, but if you guys want to see some Weevil gameplay, definitely comment there. And I'll throw the stock fool on and we'll play with that. I did get a class set up that someone sent me, so I'm going to try to get that for you. He had Mothership in it. And I know I got no Mothership gameplay yet, so I'm definitely going to be trying to get you guys some Mothership gameplay. I threw it on today, but I, was, I got killed off my Mothership twice, so it's not really my best class either. I will get better with it, though. It won't be that big of a deal. He did throw on a flashbang and a grenade. I'll put those in the class, but truthfully, I don't think I'll ever use them. They're just not something I really ever use. Sorry, but what are you going to do, right? You don't. I put them on because you suggested it, though. It'd be kind of like a pick my class. So if anyone else has a class they want me to use, feel free to send it to me, and I'll try to get some gameplay with it. Coming up is going to be some amazing games. Mr. Cod has been pulling nuclears. He pulled three nuclears in the last two days, which is like pretty much unbelievably great when you play like solo or two people. That's hard to do when you're just playing with two people. Some of these other guys do it all the time, but they're pretty much spawn trap in Nuketown, just pulling nuclears all the time. What we do, it takes a lot. It takes a lot more effort because we're going in there. We don't have a full squad. We're running our own support, and we're just trying to pull them out. So I got a nuclear the other day myself, and I got two brutals in the last two days. So really, I don't know what's been up. I don't know if the connection's just been on point here with Black Ops 3 or what, but the nuclears and the high gun kill games have been pouring out. So I got tons of great gameplays coming up for you guys. So look forward to seeing all of that. The Weevil stock pool, there it is again, coming up again. Like, I needed two of them. So I guess I could burn these afterwards, too, and get more crypto keys. Yay, there it is, the Carver. That was not a bad pickup right there. This is the st type of stuff I want here. I want to get these weapons. So far, I got three weapons. Two of the weapons I got with the Bribe. I got the HG-40. I got the uh, Banshee. Then I got, now I got the Carver. So that's not bad. And I got the Iron Gym. So I got four weapons so far. I would like to get those two that I was talking about, though. Definitely want the FFAR. Definitely want that L4 Siege. If I can get those, I'll be a happy guy. The M1 Grand, I, I picked it up. I've used it. It's all right. I kind of like that camo right there, I noticed, on the KM44. And I used a lot of KM44, so you might be seeing that in some of my videos. Definitely try to get you some nice camo gameplay. But like I said, whatever you guys see in here... Any camo that you think's nice, that ice camo looked pretty good. I might throw that on my RK5. Let me know. I'll try to throw it on, and I'll be using that for the next gameplay. That's something easy I could definitely do, especially if it's something you saw for the CUDA, because I use a lot of CUDA. I think everybody that watches my channel knows that I, I play with a lot of CUDA. Also, if you noticed, I flashed at the beginning that they are doing a special on... Uh, Liquid Divinium for zombies. And I do like zombies. I just didn't like the last zombies that came out. So I'm going to be playing some zombies. So right here I'm going to show you that I did purchase some Liquid Divinium. Why not? I had I started at uh, about 23. Brought that all the way up to about 100. It was worth it. I mean, I really wasn't getting anything out of these common supply drops. So that's coming to an end of my first supply drop video that I promised you guys. Like I said, leave some comments. Tell me what you think I should do with the rest of this. I, It's kind of fun opening these. I'm not going to lie. It's like exciting. It's like, what am I going to get? Right here, I get one last pretty good thing. I get the butterfly knife. So I ended up with five, five weapons and then just a whole lot of other stuff. This has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.